Now, in the first part of the question, then, we're asked to differentiate the natural log of x squared plus 3x plus 5 with respect to x. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, what I want to do is certainly not write dy by dx because this doesn't equal anything. So what I would do is say let. Let y or any other variable, it's up to you, but I'd normally choose y in cases like this. Let y equal the natural log then of x squared plus 3x plus 5. And to be able to differentiate this, this is a composite function. We need to call this by a single letter. Let's say t. You might prefer u or something like that, but I'm going to call it t. And we use the chain rule. So what I'm going to do is let t equal x squared plus 3x plus 5. And that means that y would equal the natural log of t. So therefore y would equal the natural log of t. So I say that we're going to use the chain rule because to differentiate, to find dy by dx, the chain rule tells us that this is the same as dy by d something multiplied by the same d something by dx. So the d something here is going to be, for me, dt. If you've called it u here, then it'll be du. So for me, it's going to be dt by dt. As I say, it's as if these dt's cancel, just leaving you with dy over dx. The chain rule then. So, when we're doing this, we should be able to go straight into dy by dx. dy by dx is equal to, well, dy by dt. And we should know that if we were to differentiate with respect to t, the natural log of t, it's 1 over t. So, this would be 1 divided by whatever t was. And t, we said, was x squared plus 3x plus 5. So this would be 1 over x squared plus 3x plus 5. And I'll put that in brackets. Now we need to multiply this by dt by dx. So I need to differentiate t with respect to x. And if you do that, it'll be 2x plus 3. So just put that there, 2x plus 3. Now normally, I wouldn't necessarily write this down like I've done here. I would do it straight off. And if you can do it straight off, that's great, okay? All we need to do now is just tidy this up. So it'll be 1 times 2x plus 3, so that's going to be 2x plus 3, all divided by then x squared plus 3x plus 5. x squared plus 3x plus 5. Now this quadratic factor down here doesn't factorize, so that's it, okay?